YouTube, what's up, man? This is another gameplay video, but before we get into that, I want you guys to hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you like the content on the channel. Also, follow all these social medias, man. Really grinding this man and getting ready for the new season. But also, man, I want some feedback from you guys. What more do you want to see from this channel? What are you liking? And what more do you think I have to offer you guys? Whatever you help you need, whether it be Madden, or anything, any type of content that you've seen on YouTube that you like and you would like me to do, please give me some feedback. That's what I want. But I want to show you guys this gameplay. This was a Mutt Seasons game. And I'll be honest, Mutt Seasons are a little bit sweatier than Weekend League. Uh, do you guys agree or disagree with that, man? But this was definitely a good game and a interesting uh, game management situation uh, that comes across in football fairly often, but uh, not. we'll go over it uh, at towards the end of this game. So make sure you guys pay attention for that because it can help you strategically get better in Madden. So we see this guy here with a little bit of a 49ers theme team. Now, honestly, the 49ers probably have the best theme team you can have on Mutt. Um, they have Randy Moss. Deion Sanders, Rod Woodson, uh, Patrick Willis, the new card, uh, pretty much one of the best, uh, one of the best theme teams you can have. Now, this game will definitely institute the gift and the curse that is Michael Vick and Blast. And I'll tell you guys why I don't think it's that uh, popular offense on Mutt because it's great for big plays. When Michael Vick gets in the open field, he's pretty much untackable, and, and you'll see human joystick in this game is absolutely phenomenal both he has bo jackson i have michael vick and, and they're both huge plays back and forth up and down the field they're really hard to tackle but the difference with that is michael vick will put the ball on the ground so i do think fast break i do think blast uh i've shot been running a lot more read option than blast lately but i definitely think uh it's it's super cheesy and over effective but uh the thing with it, it has a huge weakness so i, I think as I throw a corner route there on a deep blue and he covers it. I mean, my deep blues never cover a corner route. But, you know, as we see Michael Vick go ahead and get out. And this time, he doesn't get hit stick. Then he, he uh, you know, gets the ball inside the five-yard line. But uh, there's definitely a downside and a risk involved in running with the quarterback, man. And it's something that keeps a lot of my games close and keeps me in a lot of battles with players I shouldn't be in. This kid was okay. He wasn't bad. Um, he put up a really good fight. Uh, and I just had, I believe, that was a five-minute drive that's going to result in three points. That's really always killer when you have a long drive as he goes from Moss first play of the game. And uh, my man, Miles Garrett's not having that. But, uh, yeah, when, when you have a five-minute drive and it only results in three, that's a super win for the defense. Um, as we get him to roll out here, he scrambles Rob Griffin. Playmakers back, throws back across his body, hits Jerry Rice. That's what I mean about this 49ers theme team. But we make the tackle. That's key in these games, man. The people are going to get some plays on you. Man. Make the tackles inside the 10 so Bo Jackson with that human joystick can score, man. But, uh, yeah, he, Bo, Bo Jackson, I believe, man, it, it, this – uh, was probably the most untackable I've seen a player this year. He's just been just killed me this game. Once again, we see this blast here, and we're gonna go ahead and whoop get up out of there though. You see, that's why you guys did not expect me to get up out of that situation. But Michael Vick does get caught, and I'll tell you, man, if you hit stick low in those situations, uh, he can fumble the ball right there. And I actually waste all that time and call a timeout, so I have Vick fully stamina. That's one thing. If you're running this offense, you try it. Never run the blast when he's even a little bit tired. You got to make sure he's full bright blue or full dark blue. I guess it's royal blue to run the blast because if not, it's an automatic fumble against anybody that touches him. So that's why we wasted all that clock, called the timeout, executed properly to have a fully healthy Michael Vick run in for a touchdown. Uh, here goes this guy, Bo Jackson. That time, Lawrence Taylor and Calvin Johnson wrapped him up. Now, I don't have any tackling chems. I have Acrobat and... Oh, as he throws over Mike Evans' head. I have Acrobat and I have Lurker on both of my safeties. Not tackling chems. Now, this game, I'll be honest, I kind of wish I would have had some tackling chems out there. But we force a punt. He threw right at me right there. As you see, he put me in a bind there. Do I cover the the curl or do I cover the crossing route? Most of the time, uh, my, if I have to tell you guys about Lurking, always take the route that's going to get more yards, especially if it's a get-out-of-bounds situation, and that's what I do right here, though, corner route, get-out-of-bounds. 20 seconds left. I'm pretty much in field goal range. We're going to run read option, wide open, and boom. Ronnie Lott hits Michael Vick, makes him fumble, and Patrick Willis is out of there. Patrick Willis on a Niners-themed team has 99 speed, 
but we're actually able to rally and make the tackle. And that's a huge tackle because it's going to hold him to three points. Now, it should have been 13-7, to seven, and that's somewhere where I, might, I should have honestly played smarter and not even ran the ball with the quarterback. I should have just ran dives with Walter Payton or something really safe and conservative that way to secure my 13-7. to seven. But instead, it's 10-10. We like them sweaty. We do not like games that are blowouts. Uh, because those games can't go on YouTube. Uh, you need sweats because you need content. So that's why we run Michael Vick. We fumble. And right here, Pat, uh, Robert Griffin gets up out of there. My Taylor Mays looks slow as dirt. I've never played against Taylor Mays where he looks that slow. But when he's on my team, I guess he did just get quick sand in the feet. And here goes Bo Jackson right through my defense. Oh, my God. Nobody could put a hand on him right there. That was one of the better runs against me all year. Um, this card is giving me nightmares. Already two touchdowns in this game for Bo Jackson. Um, down 17 to 10. Um, this is a lot of times in the game, if I go down like this, I kind of abandon blast because one fumble will definitely end the game for the most part, and boom, there it is. And that one, I we deserve that. You know, you can't get mad at it. You can't. <laughs> you didn't get cheated. It's part of the game. If you want to run with the quarterback right into Taylor Mays, he's going to put the ball on the ground, period. Um, people tell me all the time, as Bo Jackson, we get our hands on him. People tell me all the time, oh, well, such and such doesn't fumble. Lamar doesn't fumble. Sanu doesn't fumble. And somehow Bo Jackson gets all the way around the corner and scores right there, too. So that's three touchdowns so far for Bo Jackson. I'm down 14. But whoop, that's the gift. You know, it's a curse when he fumbles. But, man, the read option, the blast, it's so hard to guard with this 99 speed Michael Vick. Uh, and, and always do a good job of just making people miss and just getting out of there, getting into space. And some defenses are really bad against quarterback runs. And right here, I go for a pick with Patrick Peterson, which was stupid. Uh, if I just tackle him there, he gets three yards on that little out route. And there goes Bo. Patrick Willis wraps him up right there. So we got hands on him. We got dudes got hands on him. We're all right. Um, if I were him right here, I would be milking and trying to go up 10 points. Uh, but Bo Jackson, let's rally. There he goes again. Patrick Patrick Peterson and Jalen Ramsey wrap him up right there. But, uh, and here he goes. He tries to force a corner route right here. Jalen Ramsey, golden ticket, jumps, picks it, toe taps, turnover. So that's huge. It could have been a two-possession game, but he went ahead and threw a pick. So that's why some people some people don't like the pass. You know, it's a reason why they run so much. And right there, Lawrence Taylor kills my tight end. Um, didn't end well for me. Got a third and nine. We're going to throw this corner route real late, actually, and do, do a good job of holding that receiver back so he doesn't wind up out of bounds and make that catch on the sideline. There it is, Walter Payton. We get up out of there right by the safety, taking it to the Baja to tie the game up. We could have been down 10, but he makes a mistake. You got to make him pay. Big run from Walter Payton. I like Walter Payton's agility. I told you guys I feel like he's a golden ticket. He plays like it. Uh, now we just got to play some defense. So we got him right here, right where we want him. We'll stop that underneath, but there goes that man. Human joystick, Bo Jackson. Uh, really tough to tackle him right there. Wish I had some tackling cams, but Brian Dawkins hawks him down. 10-yard line. This is the best spot to be because it's the easiest spot to stop somebody from scoring. First and goal at the 10. Um, can't really run. He goes for two passes here. Uh, cover him up both plays. There's two streaks in the corner route. And third down, I'm going to fall asleep and get caught lacking as he lasers the tight end streak. Bad lurk by me. He literally ran pretty much the same setup three plays in a row and fit one in right there. So now we're back down seven. Three minutes left. We got to go down the field and get a tie. Here we go. A little Walter Payton action. Ran away from the enforcer there. Pick up a nice little three. Now I'm going to run twice in a row. And I want to run twice in a row literally just to take it to the two-minute warning. I want to make this the last drive of regulation and tie the game up. So I'm taking this to the two-minute warning. I have no intention of snapping the ball. You see him setting up his blitz, and then we catch him sleeping. He goes off sides. You know we're ready to snap at all times. Boom, just because he was off sides. And then skirt! Human joystick Michael Vick going right by the safety, taking this one to the Baja. So huge rushing plays on both sides. Uh, we tied the game up now, you know, so I, I was cool with just the five yards. And once I saw, I, I you know, it's a, it's a free play. I took that chance of going past the safety, went right across his face. And we go here and we get the big sack from Keith Bullock, golden ticket, knocking him to the eight yard line, third and long. He's going to he's going to milk a little bit of clock and we get Julius Peppers free through there just to go ahead and get that sack. Now, this is where it got interesting. He has a fourth and 33 right now. Now, this is, you're not getting this. There is no getting this first down, right? And if you punt the ball, I call the timeout, so there's 56 seconds left. If you punt the ball with the kickers in mutt, uh, say he punts it to the 50-yard line or he punts me yeah, to the 50-yard line. 
okay, uh, now I get one first down, I'm in field goal range, and I milk the whole clock out. So honestly, punting here is not the best call, um, I think. For me, the best thing you could do in this situation is rush straight ahead for five or six yards because that goes back to putting me at fourth and ten uh, for, for, or first and goal from the 10 having to score and hopefully hold me to three, get a chance with the ball. You know, and that's essentially what he elects to do right here. Now, I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know what defense to call because I would love a safety. A safety, he's punting the ball off to me, uh, and I have a lead already. You know, uh, I, I think that's a good situation to get a, to uh, take a safety. Or maybe he could even want a safety. So, for me, I, I pause the game. Because I'm just thinking, like, what what's the call here defensively? Do I play safe? I could even go three deep. Because ideally, if you asked me, I would want the ball at the 30-yard line, get one first down, kick the field goal, end the game. But uh, I go ahead, and my in-between defense is not three deep or not blitz everybody and try to get a safety. is nickel over G. Cover two, I'm going to play super safe right here. Um Still afraid of that man, Bo Jackson. So I'm just going to deep blue my linebacker and just play, keep everything in front of me. Hopefully, I'll let him get 10 yards. I'll let him get 20 yards. But he stumbles. Boom. And he falls where? In the end zone for the safety. So now things are a little bit different here. Now, I'm going to have the ball in my territory, not in field goal range, but I'm already up two. You know, so I could get three and out and punt the ball. I've always said the easiest time to pass in these situations is first down. Uh, you don't want to wait to third down to pass. I get a nice little drag right there. Second and five. We're going to risk it for the biscuit right here. Run the blast. Get out of Taylor May's way and get that first down to clinch the game. So that end of the game was really interesting. Let me know what you guys would have did. Fourth and 33 on your own two there. I think the call is to go for it. Get maybe five yards. Put your opponent at first and goal from the 10. Use your timeouts. If you use your timeouts, hopefully you get the ball back. Uh, that's what I would have did with a chance to kick a field goal to tie the game up. Um, now, the runoff changes that. If you're playing on Madden and you have that runoff, I think you have to punt there. The kickers change that. If you're playing salary cap with 10 cap kickers, you, you, you could punt there. Real life, I think they punt there. I, I, I don't know. You know, it's just it's it's what makes Madden great. It's what we love about it because we get to make those calls. And his call was a run, but he wound up getting a safety. And honestly, you could maybe even take a safety on purpose in that situation because that gives you a chance to kick off, switch field position, you know, and then get that three and out, get the ball back with a chance to go drive a field goal to, you know, kick a game winner. You know, it's just a bunch of different things. Uh, and I'll tell you, hindsight is always twenty twenty. And at the end of the day, I've always said, if you get the ball and you have, uh, and you have to get one first down to end the game, now, you get into that situation. One, there's sometimes where you never pass the ball ever. Never. And you just run every time. But if there's a situation where you may pass, the easiest time to do it is on first down because that is when they're playing all-out run defense. You know, you don't want to wait till you get to third and eight to try to convert uh, a passing play. But first and ten, the whole playbook is open, and passing is going to be a lot easier. So I hope you guys learned a little bit. I love discussing things like this, man. So if you hit, like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll keep them coming.